ozone layer. In this topic, we will learn about significance of the ozone layer and damage caused to the ozone layer by CFCs and HCFCs. The Earth's atmosphere is divided into several regions. The lowest region is called the troposphere, which extends from the Earth's surface up to about 10 kilometers in altitude. The next layer is called the stratosphere that continues from 10 kilometers to about 50 kilometers. This is where most of the atmospheric ozone is concentrated. In the stratosphere, by the action of sunlight on oxygen, a small amount of ozone is constantly being synthesized. At the same time, ozone is being broken down by the natural processes. But the total amount of ozone usually remains constant because its formation and destruction occurs at about the same rate. Ozone is a molecule containing three oxygen atoms. It is blue in color, has a strong odor and is poisonous. However, the ozone layer performs a very essential function. It absorbs a portion of the sun's radiation, thus preventing it from reaching the planet's surface. Most importantly, it absorbs the portion of ultraviolet light called UVB. UVB has many harmful effects. Certain manufactured substances, such as chlorofluorocarbons and hydrochlorofluorocarbons, can destroy the stratospheric ozone much faster than it is formed. Once these chemicals reach the ozone layer, then due to the exposure to ultraviolet radiation, they are broken down and release atomic chlorine. These are the real ozone killers. The chlorine atoms react with ozone to form oxygen and chlorine monoxide resulting in the reduction of the ozone layer. Thus, use of CFCs and HCFCs need to be reduced to save the ozone layer.